Now, it's been a couple of years since I've spoken to Tali with the release of your last album, but she's with me again today uh, to talk about the new single. Also, an upcoming album, which is due for release when, it, when we're thinking that Wolves might come out. Um, hopefully September, okay. around, around September, October time. Yeah, that's what I'm aiming for, but um, it is finished, so there's, oh, that's, that's yeah, there's nothing that's really stopping it. Well, I've heard that you've been just busy writing and producing yourself this time, mm -hmm. and just, well, it just keeps coming out and coming out, so yes. <laughs> what's going to happen when it comes to releasing the album? You might have an, an abundance of tracks. Well, I've kind of, I've had to like put a bit of a stop to my um, creativity in that sense because yeah I couldn't stop producing once I <laughs> once I got into it I was like oh man I'm just like loving this buzz so much yeah because when I first started making it um, I didn't really have an intention or a focus as okay. to what I wanted to do with the music I was just enjoying the process mm. and before I knew it I had an album's worth of material so in the past have you worked with producers and yeah. not done it yourself okay yeah. and so how at this time did you know what you're doing did you have to kind of find a way around things or? I kind of did know what I was doing um, a few years ago when I lived in the UK I mm -hmm. had a boyfriend who was a hip-hop producer and cool. he showed me how to use Pro Tools first of all so that I could record myself and then he showed me how to use Reason because because I was always like hanging over his shoulder, yeah. like, oh, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? And he was like, oh, look, let me just show you. And he set it all up. So I became quite apt at using Reason. But then uh, my computer died and we broke up. And so there went my wow. copy of Reason. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, and then I just was like really back into like heavily touring again with um, with my NCing. So yeah. I didn't really get a chance to go get back into production until, yeah, t like, maybe last year I think it was pretty much the beginning of last year that I first sat back down and was like right I want to do things my way for yeah the first cool time. yeah so and, and calling it wolves does that kind of have a have a theme that runs through the album as such or what's this word um, they're like my favorite animals they so. are they're one of mine as well they're one of mine as well, well right. I, I made a song called wolves okay cool and this this came about from um it's one of the one of those stories where like you go out with friends you're only meaning to have like one drink and it leads sure. to a few more <laughs> and yep. then next thing you know you're like hooray we're on the town but it was kind of like it wasn't so much ray we're on we're on a town and going clubbing it was just that we were moving through um, um, to different people's houses and I actually had a night like that in Christchurch just just recently mm -hmm. saying goodbye to my guitarist like we went and played a gig then we went to a, a really cool bar where he was jamming with a DJ then we went to some people's houses and we had food and the conversation was flying and it, yeah it's the, the idea of like you're like a pack of wolves and yeah. you're like you're roaming the street and the city feels like it's yours you completely know? could you take feel, you anywhere yeah, yeah exactly cool. so wolves is kind of that sort of vibe but also wolves can be quite solitary and quite moody and mysterious Serious. and yeah. as much as I have this sort of open positive side to myself I also have a very moody dark slightly unknown side that people maybe have, have never really experienced okay choice um any any overseas trips planned any other uh, not trips? not really I mean I've just been to Perth yeah and I just went to Russia and oh London. wow yeah okay so you've been, have you've been how have you been managing to get all this album stuff out when you've been well, all over the place this is the thing, like I, I haven't actually been doing that much touring, I've been doing a little bit of emceeing up and down New Zealand, over right. to Aussie, went to Russia for, uh, I went to London for a week and while I was there I went to Russia, right. but I've been doing the production for about a year and a half now and so now it's time to take it out of the studio and okay. hopefully get back into touring. I really, like my, my ideal like dream would be to get a set together that's so strong that we could possibly go to Europe because Choice, it's yeah. been a while since I toured Europe but I'd love to tour it with this kind of sound you know yeah bring it on yeah all right well we're gonna go check out your latest video clip it's called forces um, yes. tell me about this song before we go into it because it's a very kind of sultry um, <laughs> kind of steamy but not really steamy at the same time you know yeah <laughs> Shame. No. no, not even. Um, no, it's um, it's a song about love. It's just a song yeah. about when you have a connection with somebody, right. and every time you see them, it's just like it's really explosive and. You know, like the forces of nature, uh, you know, I feel like I, it sounds like a cliche, forces of nature can be like really awe-inspiring, beautiful, or they can be really destructive. Yeah. And love is like that. Sometimes you can be <laughs> so into somebody that when you come together with them, it's like, it's really explosive. And as, as amazing it can be, it can also be really dangerous. I'm going to leave you with that note right there from Tali, and let's go check out the latest video clip, it's Forces on Enzo.